of the one of the Parkland victims who just happened to be in our area today to unveil a mural dedicated to those lost to gun violence in Mexico. They just happened to be here and we were able to hear from them. They have a very different take on all of this than the governor. They think that now is exactly the time to speak about gun control. They think it should have been something that was addressed long ago, certainly before Parkland, uh, dating back to, to Columbine. This is the first kind of mass shooting of this type that has since become the norm in this country, unfortunately. And there's the sound with the Parkland parents. I've heard that so many times. We moved to the safest city in the country once in Portland. That's how they used to call it. That's a favorite tagline, by the way, for most cities. Safest city in the country. And that's not true. So you saw what happened today. It could happen again tomorrow in another safest city in the country. So this is America. This is how we live here. We pretend to have things that we don't have. We like to think that this is a perfect country, but it's not. And today is another proof that our point that we made every single day since February 14th, that this could happen to you, it happened to you. You need to, to talk about guns right now. You cannot wait because it's too early to talk about guns. You cannot take thoughts and prayers as an answer. You don't do that. And this advice is coming from parents of a victim from Portland, so we know what we're saying. Son was murdered by an American citizen born in America. I dropped my son at 8.30 a.m. February 14th. I was expecting a call from him at 10 or 11 because he wanted to talk to me about Valentine's Day and how he was able to give the flowers to his girlfriend. And I never got that call. 17 people were shot. 14 of them were students. One of them was walking. You, as a regular civilian, we're just watching TV it's about shooting involving kids, involving adults. It happened to us. It happened in a school that was three miles away from home. Thinking about my kid that is no longer with us, seeing all the kids surrounding us, makes you think that you have to do something for these other kids. Caracas still is a very dangerous city to raise your kids. Reason number one, for us to move to other places is to be safe and uh, mostly to have our kids in a safe place. So we decided to move on and start a new life in the uh, United States. Art is what I know how to do. It's a great tool to send messages and to connect with the youth and be part of their movement. It's pretty impactful that a father finds a way to do murals that uses his dead son images to impact people. The main goal here is to keep Joaquin raising his voice through art. The fact that it connected with people is just something that happened without any planification and I feel blessed that I can keep on doing this. People is getting involved each day by thousands. Kids from 14 years to 20 years. That range of age is so powerful. And something that is um, helping us to find these solutions is that technology is on our side. These kids are used to receive an answer in seconds. I had the opportunity to spend with them. We had a great conversations, and I can tell you from first hand, as a father of a victim, that these kids are gonna change this nation. We have to be part of the movement. We have to add ourselves to what the kids are doing. I understand people being in fear. I get it. We, uh, the message that is coming from this administration is pretty scary. However, the immigrant is stereotype that we've been using, it denigrates a little bit who we really are. This country was 
build um, out of immigration. We are a value to this country. We have to be very responsible. Every one of us, we have to be involved, we have to be proactive, we have to be out there raising our voice. And that's a responsibility, and the only way that I can tell you that we can do that as a first step is going out and vote. You have to register to vote. If you didn't do it, well, you have to do it. You don't want to go through what we went. You don't have to lose your kid. My future wasn't supposed to be like this. Don't let your future turn into this. It's really painful and um, hurts a lot every single day. It's a 24-hour nightmare. Please support us in looking for the safe nation that your kids deserve.